All right, question two wants you to find the domain, the vertical asymptotes, and the horizontal asymptotes. Well, when you're looking for the domain, you can also find the vertical asymptotes because both the domain and the vertical asymptotes deal with the denominator here. And it's when the denominator, x squared minus 36 is, we're trying to figure out when it equals zero because it's a fraction, and when you're in fraction land, denominators cannot be zero. Because if you try to divide by zero, things implode, and you know your calculator goes, ee, you know, gives you an error message. So just take your denominator, set it equal to zero, and solve it for x. I can either factor or I'm actually going to add the 36 over to the other side, and then I'm gonna square root both sides. And so my two answers are either positive or negative 6. Those are the two numbers that x cannot be. And those would be the vertical asymptotes. Let's see. The fields below list accept a list of numbers or formulas separated by semicolons. All right. The order of the lists do not matter. So, and for vertical asymptotes, it's either negative six, colon, semicolon, and six. Be, uh, because since six or negative six would cause the denominator to be zero, there is no answer for y when x is six or negative six. So therefore, there's a vertical asymptote there. And those are the two numbers that will be left out of the domain. Now, I'm a visual learner, and so when we're talking about the domain, we're talking about the entire x-axis going from negative infinity to positive infinity. However, we are not allowed to have a number at six or at negative six, so, uh, I use a highlighter for this. My domain can be from negative infinity up to the 6, but not including the 6. So I'd have an open circle here. And then from, I think I said 6, I meant negative 6. From negative 6 up to the positive 6, and then an open circle there. And then from 6 to infinity. Now, that's actually three separate intervals. I've got this interval here, which goes from negative infinity up to negative six, but does not include it. Then you would use the union symbol. Then we've got this interval, which goes from negative six to positive six, but does not include either one of those numbers, so I use parentheses again. Unioned, and then we go from six to infinity, and that's the last one. And says to enter, in, enter the infinity symbol, type the word infinity. Why don't they just have the infinity symbol like other programs do? That would be great. Oh well. Okay, so domain and vertical asymptotes are easy. Horizontal asymptotes, a little different. There's some rules about this, and it has to do with the fraction as a whole. So I'm gonna be looking at the x over the x squared minus 36, and what you're going to look at is the x's. The numerator has an x to the first, the denominator has an x to the second. Okay, when the exponent in the numerator, when the numerator's exponent is less than the denominator's exponent, then, comma, then your horizontal asymptote will be at y is equal to zero. Had it been the other way around, just so I can go over this, let's say you had an x squared over an x to the first, and there could be stuff after that. 
If it's like this, where the numerator is greater than the denominator, this is when it's undefined. Or you basically say there is no horizontal asymptote. And then the last one is when they're the same. Let's see. If I had like a, a 3x squared over a 4x squared, if these two are the same, then your horizontal asymptote is actually the ratio of the coefficients, and it would be 3 fourths. So I don't know what this is going to generate for you, whether you're going to get this one or this one or this situation. And it's a case of remembering that or maybe writing it down. So back to this situation, uh, y is equal to 0. And that is how you work that problem.